hey food lovers welcome to my channel so today guys i'm gonna share with you the best nigerian meat pie recipe in the world oh yeah guys the meat pie has the most soft buttery and flaky crust with the most delicious and moist filling this is the perfect recipe to kickstart the holiday season because your family and friends will love you more for this so let's get started So right now, I'm going to start off by making the filling for the pie. I just added in some chopped onion to some hot oil and I'm going to saute that for 3 minutes until golden brown. So this will help release that beautiful flavor and aroma of the onion and we're just going to cook that down until it's golden brown. And this is the color you should be looking out for. That continuously while you fry the onion and in goes the minced beef and we're just gonna saute it out until it's brown and that's it so right now i noticed i needed a little bit more cooking oil so i'm gonna add some cooking oil just two tablespoons more so this will facilitate the browning of the meat so we're just gonna cook that down until it's brown you have to cook for right about five minutes so you can see there's still a lot of juice coming out from the meat so you know it's not ready so we want to reduce the moisture in the meat by browning it up so that's it so we're just gonna stay while we cook until a lot changes from pink to brown and at that point you know it's ready for the next stage you can see it's all brown we have reduced the moisture and the meat so at this point we're going to add the veggies so i'm going to use some chopped irish potatoes as well as some chopped carrots so in goes the irish potatoes now and i'll just mix to incorporate and in goes the diced carrots also i'll just mix to incorporate and yeah the next stage will be the seasoning stage so right now we're going to season the filling with some seasoning cube and some habanero pepper chopped some thyme and that's it so when it comes to seasoning of the filling for the meat pie the simpler the seasoning the better so you just want to keep it really simple and this combination of spice works really well you will love it trust me guys and i'm just going to add in some salt and i'll just mix the combine and that's it for seasoning So right now we're just going to add in some flour i'm just going to add the flour to cook for right about 30 seconds so i do this just to incorporate it really well to prevent any form of lump so i'm just going to cook down the flour for 30 seconds and then we can add in the liquid this will help thicken up the filling it's going to create that beautiful moistness in the meat pie really good so i'm just going to add right about half a cup of water you cook it down for right about two minutes and this is the exact consistency you should be looking out for in the sauce so the filling is pretty much ready we're just going to allow it to cool down before we proceed to the next stage which is the making of the pie dough Here's the list of ingredients you need to make your pie dough. You'll find the recipe in the description box. Do well to check it out. So right now I just added in the butter to the flour and I'm just gonna go in right now with a table knife just to cut out the butter so it can incorporate nicely into the flour. And in goes some sugar, baking powder and salt and I'm just going to go in right now with a dough cutter just to incorporate everything together. You can as well use your hand, it's still going to turn out okay. You just mix with the tips of your finger just to incorporate the butter into the flour and that's it. So right now I'm done with the cutter, I'm just going to go in with my hands just to ensure that the butter was well incorporated into the flour and I just added 3 tablespoons of milk just to put everything together. So guys the beauty of this recipe is the fact that we use very little liquid so you have very little liquid with a lot of butter just to make it really buttery and flaky so this is gonna be the best meat pie dough you've ever had it's so good guys it's soft it's buttery it melts in your mouth it's really delicious guys you have to try the recipe so right now i'm just gonna cover and allow it to rest for 10 minutes so it's good practice whenever you mix your dough you let it rest for a couple of minutes just to relax the gluten in it 
in this case we're working with very little liquid and a lot of butter the gluten component of the flour is not activated so you have that beautiful texture in your baked meat pie so good guys you have to try the recipe so I divided the dough into four equal parts and I'm going to work with each individual portion separately. So I do this just to ensure that the dough is cold while I work with it. So if you roll out the entire dough, you stand a chance of not getting the whole meat pie from that rollout because you keep folding and rolling out. It's good practice. You cut the dough into individual portions and you work with them individually so you just maintain the cold temperature when making your pie it's advisable to keep everything cold so your milk should be cold your butter should be cold right out of the fridge the trick is butter is made up of a milk and water so when cold butter hits a hot oven the water is going to evaporate quickly and this helps create a flavorful and flaky crust so that's the reason why you have to keep your butter cold so guys right now I'm just gonna um, beat an egg so we're gonna use this egg to glaze the pie once we are done to have that beautiful gorgeous golden brown color we are also gonna use it to seal up the pie so I'm just gonna go around just to you know apply the egg it just helps secures the dough together once we flip it over like you can see I'm doing right now and yeah so once you have the egg it's just gonna act as a binder and keeps everything secure and I'm just gonna do the final seal with a skewer so guys I decided to use a skewer to have a beautiful pattern I'm gonna share um, other methods where you can design or secure your pie so variety is a spice of life so today I'm giving you variety I'm giving you a couple of ways in which you can secure your pie to have that beautiful pattern so this is the first method watch out for the other two so we're just gonna secure the pie so guys the sequential step of how to make your meat pie once your dough is ready you get the dough and you roll it out I tend to like my pie not so thick so I just roll it out to the size that I like as you can see right now and you cut it out with a cutter you can use a circular plate a dish whatever you have at home will do you just cut it into a round circle you can also freestyle it with your knife you add your filling in there you can push it to one side and you go around with the egg to help secure once you flip over and that's it and then you do a final seal with either you use a skewer like I did for the first method or use a fork and I need to mention this guys you have to always apply a bit of flour to the skewer just to prevent it from sticking so it's just gonna be very effective in using this tool so if you want to use that so if you want something special you can as well try this method So right now we also follow the same method we roll out the dough and cut it out with a, a circular cutter and guys for the meat pie and um, cutter you're seeing right there it's not effective at all do not purchase this on amazon or wherever it is not effective in making the meat pie it is a total waste of your money so that's a review i'm giving here so you see i didn't use it because i've tried it prior to today and it was not good at all so do not spend your money on that someone dropped a comment a couple of videos back where i did um a mini haul and the lady told me it wasn't effective and for sure i can concur or it's not effective do not spend your money on that so you can see the beautiful design i got using the fork And right now I'm just gonna go in with my hand and you have different patterns so variety like I said is the spice of life do you right now I'm gonna poke holes in the meat pie with the aid of a fork so I do this just to ensure that there's a release of steam while the meat pie bakes if the pie is not well secured and sometimes it happens your meat pie is gonna open up while it's cooked because there's a lot of pressure inside the meat pie if you don't poke holes 
in the pie. So it's just good practice to poke holes to release that steam. So that's it guys. That's why you have to poke holes in your meat pie. It's ready, it's ready guys. Can you see how beautifully gorgeous and delicious this meat pie looks? I love the beautiful golden brown color. It's so yummy, can you see the flaky crust? It's so soft. It's the taste time. Oh my gosh, can you see how easily the meat pie just breaks? It tells how soft, how flaky, how yummy the meat pie is. So guys, the, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. The breaking of this pie tells everything you need to know. This is a no-brainer, guys. You have to try it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, wanna give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the bell notification. It gives you instant updates as soon as I upload my videos. I love you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!